So in this video, I'm talking about how to hide apps from the App Store that is for the purchases and also how to unhide them if you want to. So for some reason, Apple allows us to hide our recent purchases from the history of purchased items, that is apps from the App Store. So you can definitely go ahead and hide it if you want to, and it's quite easy to do so. All you need to do is to go to the App Store and then click on your account button. So you should find it somewhere there at the top of the screen. You can click on your photo, of course. Then you tap on purchased and you can see all of the apps that you have recently bought, whether for free or you actually paid for them. So scroll down or find the app that you want to hide and all you need to do is to swipe on it to the left and the hide option is actually going to pop up so you tap on it and the app is going to become hidden. So this is what it does but you should know what it doesn't do. In case you have a family sharing account, I mean that is that if you're uh, sharing the apps and purchases with other family members, if they already have the app installed and you click on hide, it doesn't do anything with them. It doesn't delete it from their device in case you thought so. It just doesn't do it that way. What it does, however, is if you use family sharing, uh, it will not appear in their purchase history and they will not be able to re-download it. So if other family members will go to their app store, click on their profile icon and go to their purchases, they will not be able to find that app uh, either. So this is kind of useful, I guess, if this is your intent. By the way, guys, if you're new on this channel, what you can do is to subscribe because I make videos like these all the time and I just really do hope that they are helpful for you. And in case you want to support me and stay updated, then just hit the subscribe, hit the like and let's continue with the video. If you for some reason want to unhide the app that you have previously hidden, then all you have to do is to again go to the App Store, click on your account uh, picture, so you go to your profile within the App Store, and then you don't go to purchases just like we did previously, but instead you just click on your name with, uh, with a picture and like again on your profile, and you just have to scroll down a bit and there you should see the section called hidden purchases. And there, if you click it, you can see all of the apps that you've hidden and you can find the app that you want and you can re-download it one more time. So it's kind of useful, I guess, and this is how you can access those uh, hidden apps. If you would like to do the same thing on the Mac, what you have to do again is to click on the App Store on your Mac and go to your account, which is on the left bar. And uh, the moment you click on it, all of the downloaded and recent apps are gonna pop up. So you can just go ahead and manage them from there. So you can just click on the three dots for more options and you can hide it if you want to, but it's a completely different story since we're talking about uh, MacBooks and their operating system system so mostly people are concerned with their iPhones and the App Store for iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch so this is how you can do it that way. If you want to unhide apps on Mac what you can do is to again go to the App Store click on your name in the right I mean in the left sidebar and then you click on view information at the top of the screen so you're gonna go and get there and you just click on manage so there you can unhide or do whatever you want with those hidden purchases and whatever you want and want to do with that. If you mean by this that you would like to make it hidden from the home screen and just simply uh, hold down to it, click on the X and don't click uh, the lead just remove from the home screen it will still be accessible if you scroll all the way to the right to the menu but it will not be visible on the, the home screen but this is like like a known thing so I don't think that we need to make a video just about that hopefully uh, this video helped you I really do think that most people just wanted to know how to go and hide the apps within the app store how to unhide them how to make them show up one more time and it's mostly for family sharing or some other things I guess I, I don't really know but hopefully this video helped you and if it did I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up this always shows me that a video has been valid 
valuable for other people. You can leave a comment as well uh, if there is anything that you would like to share, say, or have something to add to it. So thanks a lot for watching your support again. I'll see you guys later in the next video.